I want to talk about regression of skills in neurodivergent people, specifically language regression, since I'm a speech language pathologist. I don't want to make light of this topic because obviously people are really suffering with regression of skills and a lot of caregivers that I work with are really concerned about a change in language skills. A lot of those conversations for me are detailing acceptance and detailing how we're going to approach this change and reassuring people that it's not the end for their loved one, you know? All of these things are hard to do. I can't imagine how hard it is on the caregiver. I can only empathize with them on the piece of the journey that I've been witness to. I have to remind them the science behind specifically how busy the neurodivergent brain is. The neurodivergent brain, as it is exposed to more and more experience and more and more language, it can get harder and harder to process things. You may notice that your loved one or client is requiring more processing time than they used to, or they're saying new things than they used to, or they're not saying as much as they used to. One of the most important things to remember and to reframe your mind about is how much more they've been exposed to as a result of you educating them and exposing them to the world and how much more busy it has become in their brain and it does cause changes. I really hesitate to even call it regression because we need to accept that that's where that person is now and we need to reframe how we're going to support them rather than focus on the skills that appear different. For example, let's say you have a Gestalt language processor who was speaking in full sentences conversationally because they were really forced to in a way and learned how to go against their brain's natural language acquisition and now they've started to speak in a lot more gestalts maybe they have more sensory needs yes for someone who has seen their entire life you will say they've regressed in these skills i will encourage you to say things are different now and we need to affirm and validate and pick up from this point. This is so much easier said than done. I don't want to sound like I'm not sensitive to that because I've been in so many meetings and 